Oh, Billy. What is going on, you guys? So, the time is finally here. The 2020 mid-engined C8 Corvette has been unveiled as of last night. As I sit here and film this video, the unveiling happened about 12 hours ago. So, as you can maybe tell by my shirt, for those who do not know, I work at a Chevy dealership. It's Parkway Chevrolet in Tomball, Texas. We're Texas' number one Corvette dealer year to date. Um, this is huge news for us as a dealership and huge news for me as a consumer because yes, I do plan to buy one of these things. So before we dive in too far, I don't want to make this video super, super long, and I'm sure a lot of you by now have seen the photos and seen the specs and everything, but for some of you who have not heard anything about this Corvette, maybe this is, you know, first news to you, or maybe you haven't heard everything, I just wanted to touch on a few uh, cool things about this car. So from what we know so far, yes, obviously the engine's in the back, so we got a 6.2 liter. V8, it's called the LT2, it makes 490 horsepower in the kind of standard trim. And then if you opt for the sport exhaust or the dual mode exhaust, whatever they're gonna call it for 2020, then you get 495 horsepower and I believe it was 470 pound feet of torque with a mid-engine car rear wheel drive equipped with an eight speed dual clutch automatic. Now I know a lot of you are like, well, where's the manual, Riley? I'm right there with you. I love a manual, I've been driving a manual for a long time now I would always say you know I pick a manual sports car over an automatic with this C8 mid-engine Corvette I think the dual clutch automatic is totally fine I don't really think that it needs a manual and I do not expect there to ever be a manual in this car so for all my manual lovers at least you have the used market where you can pick up a UC 7 Z06 or actually we still have new ones that are yet to be built um, but there's still a bunch of other good options out there if you want a manual but if you want a proper just futuristic modern sports car dual clutch is kind of the way to go it's going to be much faster than zero to 60 times chevrolet claims are going to be under three seconds which is really fast so as of yet they haven't revealed any quarter mile times but i would suspect that if you put a drag radial on one of these things you might be able to break into the tens uh, i think this is going to be an extremely fast car a uh, few other notable things that were pretty cool from the reveal that I saw last night. The top is removable and they still managed to figure out a way where you can still store it in your trunk. So you have a rear trunk, you also have a front trunk. So a lot of different storage options. The interior looks super, super nice in my opinion. The climate controls are kind of laid out in a weird little line. I, that's the only part of the interior that I'm so, so, so on. Uh, it's kind of interesting, but I'm sure it'll grow on me and I'm sure once I actually sit in one, then I'll be like, oh, this is pretty nice. But just initial impressions, just being honest, that's the only part of the car that's weird to me. Front end, in my opinion, looks really good, very kind of Ferrari-ish. Uh, doesn't really look so much like a Corvette anymore. The side profile, uh, that's probably one of my favorite angles on the car, which looks very sleek, elegant, modern. Uh, I think Chevy did a really good job. And then the rear, also one of my favorite parts. I wish they did the four exhaust tips in the middle like they're you know used to doing with Corvettes, but dual exhaust will have to work but I am very happy that they stuck with a 6.2 liter V8 I'm very happy that they're not you know going forced inductions with smaller displacement and that type of thing so I'm very happy we got a 6.2 liter V8 um, I expect this car to be honestly one of the greatest sports cars ever made quite honestly I've got very high expectations for this car everything that they said in the unveiling last night obviously they want to make it sound as good as possible but just from everything they said I was like man that's incredible and then they got to the price this is a big big thing so pricing has yet to be announced even me as a dealership employee i do not know what the prices are so i've got a lot of messages this morning hey man how much is a, a 2lt going to cost with this wheel option and this i don't know yet so that'll be interesting to find out however what i do know is that the base starting price for the cheapest possible c8 corvette that you can buy will start under sixty thousand dollars so whether that's 59999 or whether it's 57, who knows what that number is actually gonna be. I just know it's under 60 grand and you get, you know, under three seconds, zero to 60 times, a mid-engine car. Uh, I, I am absolutely blown away. I can't wait to drive one of these things. And uh, like I said, I plan to own one of these. So I don't know when that will be, but I will own a C8 at some point and uh, <laughs> that gets me super, super excited. One of the options that was talked about last night in the reveal is a front lift option. So apparently you can raise the front of the car two inches with just the push of a button. 
And not only that, but it also remembers where you have raised the car in the past. So let's say you're pulling into your driveway, it'll ask you, do you want to raise the car? You say yes. Then it'll ask you, do you want to remember this setting for future reference? You say yes. Every time you pull up to your driveway, it'll remember GPS location that, hey, he's pulling up to his driveway, he needs to raise the nose of the car two inches, and it'll automatically do that for you. And it saves up to a thousand different locations. As far as I know, that's an industry first. I haven't heard of a, a car that saves a location. I've heard of cars that raise and lower, obviously, but maybe I'm not too familiar with exotic cars, but that's a first for me. I haven't heard of that before. Apparently you can fit two golf bags in the rear, so I'm very impressed that they were able to find find a way to you know have a, a reusable storage compartment in this car it's it, it blows my mind everything they put into one car and then they said the price and the power and I'm blown away so if you guys are interested in purchasing a C8 Corvette I would be very happy to walk you through that process and sell you one I work at Parkway Chevrolet our phone number is 281 351-8211 Call up to the dealership and just ask for Riley, ask for RP Productions, whatever you want to say. Uh, they should know where to direct your phone call. Like I said, pricing has yet to be announced for you know exact trim levels and models and that type of thing. So anybody that tells you a price at this point when this video is released is straight up lying to you. So we don't know yet, but if you want to get put on the list or if you're watching this video at a later date, then you want to come buy one, I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, some interesting things. What does this mean for the good old C7? Well, we actually have, I think, like 30 more C7s that have yet to be delivered to our dealership that are still yet to be built. So I believe our last build dates on our C7s are September 30th, if I remember correctly. So September 30th of 2019, I believe, is our last build date. When our last Corvette is scheduled to be built, uh, but up until September, we've got about 30 that are still yet to be built and then delivered to us. So whether you're looking for a base model Grand Sport or Z06, we'll have a bunch of those. Uh, myself and our other performance specialist, David, we spec all the cars out. So we spec them pretty manual heavy. So if you're looking for a manual, well, good news. We got a lot coming because we knew that C8s weren't going to have a manual. So we figured, well, now is probably the time to order a bunch of them. So we've got a lot of manuals coming and a lot of really cool specs if I do say so myself, but I'm a little biased because I was you know, part of the reason for specking those. But I think this is really gonna do some interesting things to the used car market as well. I'll be interested to see how C6 prices react, how C7 prices react, and how like other sports cars react. Like what about the ZL1? Because I've, you know, a lot of ZL1 owners, they like their car, but they want the newest and greatest, whatever it may be. So they're gonna wanna get a C8. So I'd be interested to see just how much this affects the market. I'd be interested to see how the European companies like Ferrari and Lamborghini are gonna to react to now having a competitor that costs like a fifth of what their cars do. So uh, it's it's a very, very interesting time to be alive and I'm super excited and uh, what a great time to work for a Chevy dealer apparently. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Like I said, it's 12 hours after this car has been officially revealed to the world. Uh, we don't know absolutely every detail from what I was reading online. It looks like it might be 80 pounds lighter than the outgoing C7. So if they were able to drop the weight and add horsepower and move that engine behind you, which should give you a little bit more traction, I think this is gonna be one of the best handling, best performing, best looking, but looks are subjective. I really think this is gonna be one of the best sports cars of the century. And uh, I'm, I'm seriously blown away, not cover up. I don't work for a Chevy dealer all of a sudden. I'm a consumer, I love this car, I want to buy one, and uh, I can't wait to finally get my hands on one, and I can't wait for aftermarket companies to get their hands on theirs, where they can finally crack into the ECU or whatever it may be, and, and you know start tuning and modifying these things. I think a modified C8 Corvette, that's gonna be a sight to be behold. So, uh, like I said, what a time to be alive. So I'll just go ahead and end the video here, guys. I wanted to keep it kind of short and simple, but yes, the C8 is here. It's way better than I was expecting it to be. I didn't really know what all to expect. I kind of heard, you know, maybe about 500 horsepower with an automatic and mid-engine Corvette. That's kind of where my general gist was, but every little thing on top of that that they revealed, I'm ex super excited. It is, as far as I know, the most customizable Corvette you can ever make. It's got 12 different exterior colors, and I believe six different interior colors with the seat belts that you can change, the stitching. There's a whole bunch of different options like with wheels and spoilers and just everything else. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of very original designs and unique customization options that people are gonna pick. So I'm, 
very excited for that. I could sit here and ramble on and on about this car. I'm, I'm literally blown away. So with that being said, uh, we're gonna be saying a goodbye to our loved C7 Corvette. And uh, you know, you gotta say it's a good looking car, but like they said in the reveal, I guess they were just kind of reaching the limits of just how good you can make a front engined uh, sports car. So they're like, well, we've kind of perfected that with the C7. Now let's, let's give some mid engine stuff a shot. And I know they've been working on this project for a very long time. So I'd like to think that they're gonna hit the nail on the head and it's gonna be a pretty, pretty sweet car to begin with. And then who knows where they're gonna go from here with a Z06 or ZR1 and <laughs> I mean, all of this is incredible to take in just remembering that this is the base model car so just food for thought keep that in mind but thank you guys for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one with a new car coming to the channel hopefully next week as long as it does not sell hopefully it doesn't sell because i've already had several deals fall through but if it doesn't sell there will be a new car on the channel next week and it's got over 600 horsepower and it's going to be a lot of fun thank you guys for watching the video i'll see you on the next one take it easy